When you hear someone play acrostic, it sounds really easy, right? And it looks even easier until you actually sit down and you try it yourself. Then you realize it's not nearly as easy as it looked. I want to go over a couple things with you that will help you understand what goes into a great sounding acrostic sound. And it will also help you get to the sound you always wanted out of your acrostic. In order to get a great acrostic sound, it's very important to understand the principle of how the sound is actually being generated. It's very simple. Lift up your stick, making sure that the tip of your stick touches the snare drum head. It's very important for the sound. Then you simply drop the stick, hitting the rim of your snare drum. Now what happens is the drumstick vibrates, sends the vibration all the way through it into the tip and then into the whole drum head of your snare drum. That acts as a speaker. It's a membrane that vibrates and amplifies the sound, just like a speaker would. But where's the sweet spot where the acrostic sounds just right? Well, every drum is slightly different, and it also depends on the kind of a drum head you're using, whether you're using a die cast hoop or a triple flange hoop. But there's an easy way to find the sweet spot on any drum. You place the tip of your stick against the rim, on the opposite side of where you're actually playing the acrostic. Now, you will play the acrostic while moving the drumstick slowly across the drum. You will notice how the sound changes from being dead and starts to open up until you hear the sound you want it. Keep in mind that there is a slight difference in sound when you play over the lug of your snare drum, over the tension rod of your snare drum, or between the tension rods. Once you get very comfortable with the acrostic sound, you will start experimenting just to get a little bit of different sounds out of it, just like I did. By lifting up the tip of my stick slightly above the drum head, I created this flaming sound. Now, why didn't I tell you that before? Well. In order to break the rules, you have to learn them first. 